National Guard has been called up as the EMT are having a hard time getting into the school for us was there was a huge separation in the class you know you had your blacks over here your latinos over here your chinese cambodian you know don't 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 cross that line fam. no cuz don't don't cross that line something serious post riots there had been a lot of gang violence and so in that classroom there was all of these feelings of that particular race for that particular group could have been responsible for the death of my friend or could have jumped me on my way home. So there's all this animosity and, and justifiable animosity. One of the core ideas of the Freedom Riders is the idea of tolerance. And they call themselves the ambassadors of tolerance now because of where they started. And they all started judging each other based on race and color, even Aaron. My name is Aaron Gruel. Welcome to Freshman English. <laughs> I get this bitch a week. They see her come in and she's this white girl and she's wearing pearls and she has a smile and, and you know, and they say even, why should we trust you? Because you're a teacher, I don't know you. I don't know what you're going to do. You don't feel respected. Is that what you're saying, Ava? Well, maybe you're not. But to get respect, you have to give it. That's bull. What? Why should I give my respect to you? Because you're a teacher. I don't know you. How do I know you're not a liar standing up there? I'm not just gonna give you my respect because you're called a teacher. Hey yo, you ever felt trapped? Felt like you between a rock and a hard place? You don't know nothing. You don't know what we gotta do. You got no respect for how we live. You got us in here teaching us this grammar, and then we gotta go out there again. And what are you telling me about that, huh? What are you doing in here that makes a damn difference to my life? Somebody help me find a way out. Grew up on the wrong side of the tracks. Picture my hood. I don't even know how this war started. It's just two sides who tripped each other way back. Who cares about the history behind it? I am my father's daughter. And when they call me to testify, I will protect my own no matter what. My brother taught me what the life is for a young black man. Do what you have to. Pimp, deal, whatever. There is an enemy. I watched my mother being half beaten to death and watched as blood and tears streamed down her face. I was like, yo, these kids are 14. That's what I kept telling myself. Like, they was 14. I had to keep telling myself because, I mean, they really went through some stuff, dog. They really went through some stuff. To the soldiers in me, it's all worth it. Risking life, dodging bullets, pulling triggers. It's all worth it. To me, the whole point was, was being able to tell a story that showed their lives, showed their stories, their honest stories, um, and how a teacher listened and respected their stories enough to figure out how to teach them instead of letting them fall through the cracks. Lady, I'm lucky if I make it to 18. We in the war. We graduating every day we live because we ain't afraid to die protecting our own. At least when you die for your own, you die with respect. You die a boy. You know what's gonna happen when you die? You're gonna rot in the ground and people are gonna go on living and they're gonna forget all about you. She was determined to break us. Not physically, but just mentally and break us in a great way. The reason Erin Grill had success with these kids was she decided not to listen to what everybody had said about them or even what they decided about themselves. And frankly, she had just about given up when an act of intolerance occurred in her classroom. There's a scene in the movie where there's a piece of paper and it's passed around and the picture is of Jamal.
the Latino group made a drawing of him with really big lips, big nose, and a messed up haircut. <laughs> What's going on? And so when Erin finds this, she is just furious because she knows what this means. <laughs> That note reminded me of a caricature I'd seen at the Museum of Tolerance of um, a Jew portrayed as, as a rat with a, a very ex extended um, nose. And so when I, I made this parallel between this note and propaganda from the Holocaust. And these drawings were put in the newspapers by the most famous gang in history. And she's like, you know, y'all think y'all real gangsters? I know a gang that will put you all to shame. You take over neighborhoods? That's nothing compared to them. They took over countries. That was kind of the comparison was, you know, they're the biggest gang in the world. You guys think you can take that on? Yeah, they wiped out everybody they didn't like and everybody they blamed for their life being hard. And one of the ways they did it was by doing this. What the Nazis were doing, they were wiping out people. What if it was my race they were wiping out? And you start realizing the truth. Maybe gangs isn't the way to go. Unteachable? I don't think so. Misunderstood is better a way to put it. The evaluation assignment was to grade yourself on the work you're doing. You gave yourself an F. What's that about? It's what I feel I deserve, it's all. Oh, really? I know what you're up against. We're all of us up against something. What I want people to walk away with this film is realizing that no matter what, no matter what color you are, no matter where you are, you are a human being and everybody deserves a chance. So you better make up your mind because until you tell me this is all you deserve, I am not letting you fail. Even if that means coming to your house every night until you finish the work, I see who you are. Do you understand me? I can see you. And you are not failing. I think that's why the relationship becomes so powerful, is because once it's gained, it's a, uh, it's like you become family. One thing that I really want people to understand is that nobody can ever judge you no matter what you go through, you know, where you grow up, where you're from doesn't necessarily mean that that's what you have to be, you know, when you get older. You can be whatever you want to be. You know, and I think that every kid in America needs to know that, every kid in the world needs to know that there's more out there than what you see. Kept telling her, two to the left, two to the right, two to the back, fake the win and go. But she can't do it. I mean, I know anybody else would see that as a golden opportunity to teach Hillary Swank how to do the electric slide, but I passed. You know what I'm saying? I passed. I put together pieces of a dream. I still have one. 